Businessman and comic book villain Charles Koch sat down for an interview with ABC, and he made an interesting point about a potential Hillary Clinton presidency. So when asked if she might be better than the Republicans, his response was, quote, it's possible, it's possible. Wow. Now he also went on to say, we would have to believe her actions would be quite different than her rhetoric. Let me put it that way. Now, uh, so some people are saying, whoa, man, isn't that telling that a guy like Charles Koch says it's possible that she might be better than the Republicans. And others are saying, eh, whatever. If you look at everything in context, uh, it's really not that crazy of a point to make. Where do I stand on this? I'm in the camp of, no, this is a big deal. And it's a big deal because you couldn't imagine, because it would be preposterous to imagine it, Charles Koch saying this about Bernie Sanders. Is there any doubt in Charles Koch's mind that, hey, Bernie Sanders is actually going to crack down on us compared to somebody like Trump or Cruz? No, Bernie Sanders would be a nightmare for a guy like him. And it, he's right to think Bernie Sanders would be a nightmare. In fact, Bernie Sanders has said about Wall Street and about others, uh, it kind of copying FDR's line of, I welcome their hatred. He said, I welcome their contempt. Yeah, you should feel that way. I'm coming for you. Whereas Hillary, he's like, it's possible she might be better. Now, how could that possibly be as supposedly a liberal Democrat? Well, that's exactly the thing is, you know, it, f he may be many things. He's not stupid. He's seen her record. And oftentimes in the past, uh, her rhetoric has not matched up with her actions. And her actions have been much more uh, pro-corporation, pro-billionaire than her words. So <laughs> he's saying it. Okay, yeah, her actions would have to be different than her rhetoric. But yeah, it's possible she might be better. And this reminds me of that story about there were there are Wall Street insiders who met with Hillary Clinton before the election and they gave her the green light. They're like, hey, I'm just letting you know, you could say anything you want about us. You know, you can come after us just with absolute fervor and disdain. Why? Because we know at the end of the day, you're with us. We know. So that freed her up to go out there and say whatever she wants. And by the way, half the time, she still can't even bring herself to bash Wall Street. Sometimes she's like, I'm more progressive than Bernie on this issue. Other times she's like, come on, progressives who like to get things done. That's what I am. So, you know, be more moderate, do incremental change. So she contradicts herself on that anyway. But the uh, point is, Wall Street gave her the green light because they know so much that she's on their side that it's like, whatever, say whatever you want. And to put that in perspective for you to, to think of how crazy that is, President Obama didn't have the green light from Wall Street. And President Obama hasn't really been all that tough on Wall Street. He's been kind to them in many ways. Like Dodd-Frank has so many loopholes that they went right back to doing the same shit they were doing before. And he also facilitated a bailout for them. So he was kind of with them. But when he did the anti-Wall Street rhetoric, they were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you being so radical? Hillary, they're like, say whatever you want because we know you're with us. <laughs> and now you have Charles Koch saying, yeah, it's possible. Now, the Kochs make all their money from... Fossil fuels. Guess who sold fracking to the world as Secretary of State? Hillary Clinton. So this is probably one of the main reasons why he says it's possible she's better. Because for, despite all her rhetoric, ah, against big oil, climate science is real. Is she actually going to do anything about it? Again, her rhetoric is obviously way better than any of the Republicans. But your actions as Secretary of State were the opposite. You sold fracking to the world. And by the way, here's Hillary's uh, response here. So she saw this story, and then she tweeted uh, in response, not interested in endorsements from people who deny climate science and try to make it harder for people to vote. Irony. Because again, like I told you, again, her rhetoric, climate science, yeah, climate change is happening. Let's all agree to that. Okay, great, we all agree. What are you going to do about it? Secretary of State, she sold fracking to the fucking world. When asked in a debate, Bernie Sanders put her feet to the fire, said, I would ban fracking. You? She said, well, you know, if we're going to do it, I think we should measure the right amount of chemicals that we put in the ground that are carcinogens and make sure that everything is done right and there should be regulations and rules and, oh, yeah, but I'm not going to say I want to ban it because I don't want to ban it. I really fucking love it. I sold it to the world. What? 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 
So that's the kind of person that we're dealing with. And also the part about making it harder for people to vote. Oh, Hillary, stop it. Hillary, stop it. We just covered the story. We just had the New York primary. I covered the story on the show. Wh whoops, look at that. In all of the, the uh, counties that favored Bernie Sanders demographically going into the New York primary the week before, the hours were changed. What do you know? It was uh, 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. that it was supposed to be open, and then it became 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. So why would you cut the voting hours in the counties that are more likely to go for Bernie Sanders? That doesn't make sense. And all the counties that were more likely to go to Hillary Clinton and did go to Hillary Clinton, it was open from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. Why would you change that? The Democratic Party in New York changed that. Why would they change that? Again, who are they in the tank for? Openly in the tank for Hillary Clinton. Never mind the other 8,312 things that were fishy about uh, the Democratic primary. And remember, when voter turnout is suppressed in the Democratic Party in a Democratic primary, who does that favor? It favors Hillary Clinton because she's overwhelmingly, uh, you know, leading among, for example, older voters, higher income voters, whereas younger voters, millennials, independents, these are people who are more likely to go for Sanders and he wins when the turnout is really high. So she's at, at the very least been cool with the turnout being low in the primary because that means she wins. And now she's like, why are you making it harder for people to vote, Charles Koch? Man, I really think you're wrong about fossil fuels, even though I sold fracking to the world. You just, guys, you can't, you have to understand everything Hillary Clinton says. You have to put it in perspective. You have to understand her history on whatever issue she's talking about. And it just ain't that good. Which is why Charles Koch says, maybe she's better. Maybe she's better than the Republicans. And finally, he also went on to say that in some ways, Bill Clinton was a better president than George W. Bush. There you go again. The new Democrats strike again. The uh, centrist Democrats who triangulate and agree with the right and the left because they're above the fray, bro. They strike again. Now, in one area, he says, well, because of the deficit, that's one thing. But does he also probably mean because of NAFTA? And because of the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act, which repealed Glass-Steagall? Which all rich businessmen loved? Oh, totally. So, it, it's a lucid comment from him. He gets it. He thinks there might be a real Hillary Clinton under there that's very, very friendly to people like me. And you can't blame him for thinking that because it's probably true.